Ladies, gentlemen, and students, I am super excited to be here at the start of the 2016 Cowbellpedia Mathematics Quiz Show, where we're going to discover the next generation of inventors, but not just discover them, we're going to nurture them and celebrate them. But first things first, a big thank you to each and every one of you, your text messages, your retweets, your YouTube views, your memes, yes, we've got a couple of those on social media, it all came together to make season one such a huge success. And on behalf of the whole Cowbellpedia team, we say a big thank you. Now, I'm not gonna talk about the 1 million Naira cash prize for the 2016 champions, or the 400,000 Naira for their teachers, or the educational excursion out of the country, or even the bragging rights for the whole year. That's not what this show is about. Now, we at Cowbellpedia believe that each student, and even everyone, has the potential to be the next inventor. So stick with me over the next 15 weeks to find out how you can make that happen. Now talking about champions, congratulations once again to our reigning champions. Yes, I'm talking about Eze Ernest Munachi from Loyola Jesuit in Abuja, and not forgetting Ayo Deji Akinkuowo from Adeyemi Demonstration Secondary School, Ondo, who are the current junior and senior champions. Wow. Now, I don't know about any other show that does it the way we do it at Cowboypedia. So let's make some noise for Cowboypedia, guys. <laughs> now, this is undisputedly the number one mathematics quiz show for secondary school students in Nigeria and possibly Africa. But the question is, who has what it takes to be crowned the ultimate champion this year? Cowbellpedia is brought to you by our friends at Promacidor, the makers of Cowbell are milk and endorsed by Neko. I am Oscar, your quiz master, and yes, I will be back after the break. Instantly dissolving Cowbell milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. Cowbell milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita-Rich. A, C, D, E and K. Plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy new formula that dissolves instantly. Cowbell, now deliciously creamy. This is Cowbellpedia. We have our young, eager math gurus on standby to clinch the first four spots in the semi-final. But the question is, how did they actually even get here? Over 47,000 students from over 9,000 schools took part in a very difficult written exam conducted by NECO several months ago. And this happened in 240 centers across Nigeria for secondary school students alone. But out of those numbers, talking about 24,000 in the junior and 23,000 in the senior, only 108 made it to the second phase of the competition, that is Cowbellpedia. But the question is, out of that 108, who will be crowned champion? But the one million naira cash prize is only meant for two, one in the junior and one in the senior category. We have with us 12 of these 108 students who will take part in nine prelims at the junior and senior level. Stage one is what we like to call the prelims. We have the semifinals, and then we have the finals. Now these 108 students will be split into nine groups of six 
with each prelim producing the best two candidates that will move on to the semi-final. Now, these 18 semi-finalists will then take part in three semi-final shows, with each semi-final producing the best two students that will move on to the final. The six finalists will then slug it out for the ultimate bragging rights and crown of Cowboypedia Maths Champion Junior and Senior categories, respectively. We have 12 outstanding math gurus on standby in this maiden edition who are ready to take the first four spots in the semi-final. Now, from what I heard, at the prelims, I'm talking about the exams that they took a couple of months ago, we had about nine of them in the junior and senior categories who made perfect scores. I'm talking about 100 over 100. So it's going to be quite a journey. But before I let them in on how they're going to go about this, we have the first six contestants in the junior category who are ready to take the next step towards being crowned Cowboypedia Maths Champion Junior category. But let's find out who they are, where they're from, and what they're all about. My name is Uzalu Divine Uzbe Ochuku. I'm from Federal Government College of Mosi, Ebon State. Pleasure meeting you, Uzbe Ochuku. What's the meaning of your name? It means God's plan for me is the best. God's plan for you is the best. Wow. I'm, I'm really excited to, to have you here. And uh, you're the first person I'm talking to. And you came quite a long way. Is this your first time in Lagos? Yes. Good to have you here, and I wish you all the best. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mrs. Ochuku. And let's find out our second contestant in the junior category. My name is Ofo Ugochuku Prince. I'm from the University of Nigeria Secondary School, Enugu Campus. Glad to have you here, Ugochuku. But what do you think will set you apart from your colleagues that will make you move ahead? What's that thing you have? that is different from every other person? God's talent, God's gift, yes. Well, Ugo Chuku, we'll see how God's gift and God's talent takes you so far. Welcome to Carbopedia. Round of applause. Yes. Our third contestant. My name is Isikaye Prince from Federal Government Academy, Sileja. Great to have you, Prince. Yeah. Ah, you're the only female here today. Yeah. Look at them and tell them, say, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. <laughs> now, we have a cash prize at stake, all right? One million naira, to be precise. What's the first thing you're going to do with that money? Apart from your tithe? I don't remember when I get the money. I don't know what to do with it. Let's round of applause to praise, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's meet our next contestant, the fourth contestant. My name is Okiki Fibo from Lola Jesu College, Abuja. How are you, Fibo? I'm fine. Loyola Jesu, I know that school. You guys won last season. Yeah. The junior category is the NS Monachi, right? Yes. How did you feel when you watched Cabo Peter and you found out that this guy won from my school? How, how did it make you feel? It felt nice. All right then, but this is your first time on Cabo Pedia. What do you think will be your greatest strength from now till the finals? Speed and accuracy. Speed and accuracy, fantastic. That I cannot argue with. Speed and accuracy is very key, especially when it comes to the stages and the rounds, which I'll talk about. But well, welcome, Favor. Round of applause to Favor, guys. <laughs> Our next contestant. My name is Ajay Ayomide from Bibolu Academy, Malaysia. How are you, Ayomide? I'm fine, please, Master. All right, then. Now, if I know you like maths a lot, but if you're not solving maths questions, what's the other thing you could be doing? Reading Bible. Reading the Bible. Any other thing? Drawing. OK. I would like to see more of what you know, Ayomide. Welcome to Cowbellpedia. <laughs> and last but not the least, contestants today. My name is Iqbal Emanuel, and I'm from the Ambassador's College, Ota. How are you feeling, Emmanuel? Fine. Feeling fine. Okay. How well would you say you're good in maths if you were going to score yourself over 10? I don't know. It's you don't good. 
Um, is your te- what's your teacher's name? Your math teacher's name? Mr. Yan. What's the highest score Mr. Yano has ever given you in a test? 100%. 100%? Wow. You are really that good. Okay, we'll see, we'll see how you fare on the show today. We wish you all the best and welcome, Emmanuel. Round of Thanks. applause to Emmanuel, guys. There we have it. Our six contestants vying for two spots in the junior category. Now, out of this six, only two of them will make it to the semi-final. But what do they need to do to get to the semi-final? Now, the prelim, we have two rounds, and every other round, we have two rounds. Round one is what we call the multiple choice questions. 12 questions will be asked, and the best three after round one with the highest scores will move on to round two. Now, round two has become very famous here at Cowbellpedia. We like to call it the Cowbellpedia 60 Seconds of Fame, where you're given 60 seconds to give as many correct answers as possible. Now, at the end of round two, the students with the highest scores from round one and round two will move on to the semi-final. That is the top two students with the highest scores from round one and round two will move on to the semi-final. But what if we have a tie? very simple. To break the tie in round one and determine who moves on to round two, a set of three questions will be asked and the top three students with the most correct answers in the quickest time will move on to round two. To break a tie in round two and determine the two students that will move on to the semi-final, your 60 seconds of fame becomes the Cowbellpedia 30 seconds of fame or you're given 30 seconds to give as many correct answers as possible. And at the end of that round, the top two students with the higher scores will move on to the semi-final. But please note that whatever you score in the tie break will not be added to your final score. But whatever you score in round one and round two combined is what will take you to the semi-final. Do you all understand these rules? Yes, Yes, Master. Let's give them a round of applause to encourage them, guys. Round one starts now. Expand A, B, bracket one minus two C plus two A. A, two A, B minus two A, B, C plus two A squared B. B, two A, B minus A, B, C minus two A, B. Option C is A, B minus two A, B, C plus two A squared B. And D is two A, B minus two A, B, C minus two A squared B. Wow. If I said all of you got it wrong, I would be lying. You all got it right. Fantastic. Well done. Everybody take a deep breath. We'll move on to question number two. Simplify 13j raised to power 3 times j raised to power minus 2 times 2. A, 26j, B, 26j squared, C, 26j raised to power minus 3, and D, 26j times j raised to power minus 2. If I said all of you got the correct answer, I would be lying this time around. Onzube Chuku, do you feel you got this one right? No. Did you punch in your answer correctly? Same thing with Ayomide and of course Ugo Chuku. Make sure you punch in the correct answers within the space of time given to you. Let's move on to question number three. Not to worry, we still have a way to go. Expand 4x bracket x minus 2y. A, 4x minus 8xy. B, 4x squared minus 8xy. 4x plus 8xy. And D, 4x squared plus 8xy. Make sure you punch in the answer in time. I guess you are all listening. You all got it right. The correct answer is B, 4x squared minus 8xy. Let's move on to the next question. Question number four. Factorize a squared b plus a b. Option a is a bracket b plus one, a b bracket a minus one, a b one plus a, and option d is b bracket a plus one. The correct answer is option c, a b bracket one plus a, and uh, Ugo Chuku, you need to punch in your answer in time. Okay, every other person got it right, but not to worry. Let's move on to question number five. All the best, guys. You're doing very well. 
evaluate m raised to the power 2 n divided by m raised to the power 3 n if m is 2 and n is 3 a 1 b 1 over 2 c 1 and a half and d 3 over 8 5 seconds to punch in the correct answer the correct answer is b 1 over 2 and uh, ugo chuku and uzabe chuku Again, please make sure you punch in the correct answers to the rest of you. Well done. Praise Ayomide, Favor, and Emmanuel. Let's encourage them. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Moving on to question number six. We're halfway through round one. In the linear inequalities, minus x less than or equal to minus 2 can be written as A, x is less than or equal to minus 2, B, x is greater than or equal to 2, C, x is greater than or equal to minus 2, and D, x is less than or equal to 2. Emmanuel, what was your answer? B. Absolutely. Everybody got it right. <laughs> Question number seven. The largest number that is a common factor of two or more numbers is called A, lowest common factor, B, mode common factor, D, C, prime factor, or D, highest common factor. Five seconds to put in your answer. The correct answer is D, highest common factor. Four correct answers. Ugo Chuku, make sure you punch in your answer in time. What was your answer? D. You need to punch it in time. All right. Well done to all of you. Let's move on to question number eight. There's still room to catch up. Express 4.550 meters in kilometers. A, 455 kilometers. B, 4.55 kilometers. C, 45.5 kilometers. And D, 0 0.46 kilometers. The correct answer is B, 4.55 kilometers. We had four correct, two incorrect answers. Eight questions down. Let's move on to question number nine. If 60% passed the test conducted for 50 students, how many students failed? A, 20, B, 25, C, 30, D, 35. Congratulations to each and every one of you. The correct answer is A, 20. You all got it right. So moving on to the next question, question number 10. A prime number has only two factors, A, itself and two, B, itself and three, C, itself and four, and D, itself and one. Put in your correct answer. Two for two, everyone got it right. Correct answer is itself and one. Question number 11. What is the place value of 8 in 6,380,322? A, billion, B, million, C, thousandth, and D, ten of thousand. Praise, what was your answer? Ten of thousand, D. D, ten of thousand, you all got it right. <laughs> Let's move on to the final question in round one. Junior prelims, Cowbellpedia. What are the factors of 15? A, 135, B, 1515, C, 13515, and D, 3515. If you chose options A, you'll have been incorrect. Option B, incorrect. Option D, incorrect. The correct answer is C, 135. Five and 15. Only one incorrect answer from Ugo Chuku. <laughs> now, this is the part of the show that really breaks my heart. Only three of you are going to move on to round two, unless there's a tie. But first and foremost, well done to each and every one of you. Out of 54 students in the junior category, you six also made it here. All right? And out of about 24,000 students that took part in the exam, you made it here. And we believe that you're actually the next generation of inventors. So whatever happens after I announce this result, you're equally a champion. All right? Okay? So let's find out who will be going home today and who will be moving on to round two. 
At the end of round one, praise, favor, Emmanuel. We'll be moving on to round two. Unzu Bechuku, Ayomide, and Ugochuku. Unfortunately, your journey stops here at the prelims of Calbopedia. You did very, very well. And being in the junior category, there's nothing stopping us from seeing you again here in the senior category. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations to Emmanuel, favor, and praise. It's not yet over. Only two of you are going to make it to the semi-final. But let's look at where your strengths lie. Praise, you had 55 points. Your average response time was 1.8 seconds. You're actually the fastest out of the three of you. All right, that's a good one. And judging by what I have here, it seems algebra is also your strength. Favor, well done to both of you. Actually, you both were tied at 60 points. That's you and uh, Emmanuel. Your average response time, 2.03 seconds. And for you, Emmanuel, 1.98. But one thing I can tell you about the next round is 60 seconds of fame. The Carbopita 60 seconds of fame, it's all about pace and accuracy, all right? But for the fact that you've gotten this far, congratulations to all of you. Your strength favor seems to be numbers and numeration, and of course, Emmanuel, numbers and numeration as well. But whether or not you're gonna come across that in round two, let's wait and see. Let's give them a round of applause again, guys. The new Carbell Choco formula has been stolen. Get it back at all costs. Tasting new Carbell Choco gives you the get up and go to be at the top of your game. Now with Vitorich Plus Iron. New great tasting Carbell Choco, a creamy chocolatey drink that helps give energy to get up and go. This is the 60 seconds of fame where speed and accuracy is very, very important. Take a deep breath and let's move on to round two. Are you all ready? Yes, good master. Do you all understand the rules? Yes, yes, yes good master. master. And please remember, if there's a question you do not know, what do you say? Skip. Skip, Skip so you can save your time. Favor, I wish you all the best. Your 60 seconds starts now. If x over 5 is equal two. to 2 over 5, correct. Solve the equation 2x plus 5 is equal to minus 3. Minus 4. Correct. Find the value of y in the equation 2y plus 3 is equal to 3y. Correct. What is the coefficient of x in the equation? If a is equal to 2, b is equal to 4, what is the value of 3a minus 2b? Minus 2. Correct. Simplify y minus Skip. 6, y plus 2. If x ratio 3 is equal to 3 ratio 9, One. what is... Correct. Solve the inequality, 3x plus 5 is greater than 14. 3. Correct. If 7 over 8 is equal to x divided 21. by 20... Correct. Solve the equation minus x over 3 is equal 12. to 4. Incorrect. Factorize x squared plus x Skip. minus 6. Given that y Seven. squared... Correct. Simplify 5x minus x plus 3. 4x plus 3. Correct. If the product of Skip. 1... Find the sum of x minus 3 and x plus two 3. 2x. Correct. Solve for x in the equation. Minus x divided by 2 is equal to 5. Minus 10. Correct. I know I was the one asking the questions, but let me take a deep breath too. Whew. Well done, Favor. Well done. Emmanuel, are you ready for your Carbopedia 60 Seconds of Fame? Yes, Quiz Master. I wish you all the best. Please remember to speak up, and if you do not know the answer, just say skip. Emmanuel, your 60 seconds starts now. 
Simplify a squared b raised to the power of 3. A b squared. Correct. Solve the inequality minus 3a is less than or equal a to 12. a is greater than or equal to minus 4. Correct. Simplify 13x minus 3 plus 6x plus 8. Um, 19x plus 5. Correct. When y is subtracted from 8, the result is... 8 minus y. Correct. Solve the inequality 3x plus 1 is less than 16. X is less than 5. Correct. Simplify 2x minus 3y plus 3x minus 4y. 5x minus 7y. Correct. What is the value of x in the equation nine. x? 9. Correct. Solve x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 10. X is to greater than 1. Incorrect. Olu is twice as old as Bala. If the sum of their ages is 24, what is Bala's age? Um, 6. Incorrect. Solve the inequality 3 minus y is less than or equal to 4. Y is greater than or equal to minus 1. Correct. Simplify 2 bracket x minus 5 is Nine. equal to... Correct. Simplify 7 divided by 3z minus... 1 over z. Correct. The positive square root 15. of 2... Correct. What percentage of 5m is 5 centimeters? 1. Incorrect. Find the coefficient of x in 2x minus 7, 4x plus 5. Minus 8. Incorrect. Emmanuel, how did you think you did? I don't know. You'll find out very soon. You did quite well. Very, very well. Praise. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Your 60 seconds starts now. Simplify 8 divided by 3 divided by 11 divided by 3. 8 divided by 11. Correct. Increase 400 naira by 10%. 40 naira. Incorrect. What is standard form for 2.015 times 10? 2.015 times 10 raised to the power Correct. Of Change 30% to a fraction. 3 over 10. Correct. One third of 90 oranges are bad. How many are good? 30, 90. In I'm going to take your first answer. Incorrect. Add up 28.28 plus 401.22. Four twenty nine point fifteen. Correct. Reduce five divided by one over seven. Correct. Approximate four thousand one hundred and sixty four point six seven to two significant figures. Four thousand two hundred. Correct. From the product of ten and six, subtract twenty four, then divide the result by four. Nine. Correct. <laughs> Emmanuel, favor and praise. Well done. To all three of you, you have done exceptionally well. But unfortunately, at this junction, only two of you are going to make it to the semi-final. Two students are tied at 115 points. The third candidate is on 80 points, which means only two of you will be moving on, and it's clear cut. There will be no ties. At this junction, praise is in Kaye. You have done exceptionally well. Proud of you, proud of your school, proud of your parents, and everybody that has made maths fun for you. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to praise. <laughs> Emmanuel and Favor. Favor has definitely been on your side. And for Emmanuel, you seemed a bit shaky at the beginning, but um, you found your feet. You're both at 115 points, which means you're both the first semi-finalist in the junior category. A round of applause to Emmanuel in favor. Now, before I let you guys go, Emmanuel, we're going to meet again very soon in the semi-final. What do you think you could have done better? I was rushing, so maybe I could slow down a bit. Okay, yes. favor? How do you feel? Too nice. What do you think you could do better next round? Just increase my speed. Well done. Favor and Imadol are the first semi-finalists in the junior category of Cowboypedia 2016. Which two will be joining them from the senior category? Stick around and find out. And don't forget to download the Cowboypedia app on all Android devices and get practicing. And of course, find out how you as a student can be on this stage come season three right after the break. For decades, mathematics has been the bedrock of the world's greatest innovations. We believe that we too can set indelible footprints in the sands of technology if we invest in our children and in their future, knowing fully well 
that from amongst them can come the next best innovators. Tomorrow's Einstein, Maria Mayers, Ayodele Awojobi, Philip Emeagwali. Yes, we have a dream that our children can be great. Since 2001, Cowbell has been on the front line promoting mathematics as a means to empowering young people and nourishing their dreams, harnessing their potential, irrespective of their background or ethnicity. Yes, we believe in our children, in their greatness, in what they can be. Reach for the stars with Nourishing Cowbell. Cowbell. Welcome to Cowbellpedia, the number one mathematics quiz show for secondary school students in Nigeria and we'd like to say possibly Africa. So let's meet six out of the 54 contestants in the senior category who have made it this far. Let's, let's know what they're all about. Um, my name is Emmanuel King Fortune. I'm from Wadofe College, Edo State. How are you doing, King? Fine, sir. All right, stand up, stand up. Take a deep breath. How did you enjoy the dinner that was hosted to you guys? We, we had you guys over, lots of food, some entertainment. What, what's the one thing you, you remember most from that dinner? The boy that can cook stew. <laughs> the boy that can cook stew. Yes, I can't forget the boy that can cook stew and he described it quite well. Are you a good cook yourself? No. So if you are home alone and there's nobody and there's food around, you just starve to death? We eat biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> you eat biscuits? Yes, sir. Well, I, th I think you might need more than biscuit, but um, it's okay. Welcome, King. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's meet our second contestant from the senior category. I'm Madibai Redemption from Model Secondary School, Akure, Hondo States. Glad you've made it this far, Redemption. Now, if, if you were stuck in the house with King and there was food everywhere, would you eat biscuits too or would you cook? I'll cook. You're a good cook? I'm trying. You can do eba? Yes. What's your favorite food? Jollof rice. Do you see your mouth like jollof rice? <laughs> all right, Redemption. Welcome to Cowbellpedia. Wish you all the best. A round of applause to Redemption, guys. <laughs> Let's meet our third contestant. I am Buddha Tiflos from Two Apostles College, Sharon, on Ebony Stage. <laughs> Theophilus. I don't know. I, you look like somebody that works out. Look at your chest everywhere. <laughs> Do you play sports a lot? Yeah. Wh which, which one? Basketball. Is your basketball better than your maths or is your maths better than your basketball? Which one are you better at? Basketball or maths? Maths. Maths. If the national team in Nigeria should call you and say, come and represent Nigeria in basketball for 10 million naira, you won't go. Ah, he's thinking about it. <laughs> All right, Theophil, so wish you all the best and looking forward to seeing you play. A round of applause to Theophil. <laughs> Let's meet our fourth contestant. I am Arumalara Adiguki from Bibo Law Academy, Ilesha Ocean State. Great, great to have you, Adiguki. How, how is Ilesha? Did you grow up there or you just school there? I grew up there. You grew up there? Yes. When you're not solving maths or you're not in school, where do you hang out? My mom's shop. Your mom's shop. What does your mom do? Um, she's a distributor. Oh. All right, round of applause to Adibu, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's meet our fifth contestant. My name is Wang Kenneth. I'm from Graceland International School, River State. Hi, right, Kenneth. <laughs> How are you doing, Kenneth? Fine. Mr. Kenneth, is this your first competition ever? No. You've, you've been in other maths competitions? Yes. Uh, which ones? An NPC. Okay, did you win that one? No. What position did you come? Second. I wish you all the best, Kenneth. A round of applause, guys. <laughs> and our final contestant in the senior category. My name is Ajoli Ayomide, and I'm from Ibulu Academy, Elisha Ocean State. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Anara, Elisha, boy. So, Ayomide, I think, okay, do you guys know each other's schools? Do you have competitions between your schools? A lot. A lot, like what? Sports, maths? Yeah. So do you know Adego K before? Very well. Are you better than him in maths? <laughs> we'll find out, sir. <laughs> yes, we'll find out. So Ayomide, what would you like to invent if you had the chance to invent something? 
if, uh, if, they are, if they were a better method of distributing electricity, I would like to... A better give, method of distributing electricity. electricity. You would like at, to develop that? At the cheaper cost. At the cheaper cost, like maybe solar yes. is cheaper. What would you like to study in university? Mechanical engineering. Mechanical, wow. Hi, Omidy, I wish you all the best Thank in you. your electricity endeavor. And of course, here on the competition. A round of applause to Ayomide. <laughs> We've met our six contestants, our math gurus, different aspirations, different goals. But today on this stage, their ultimate goal and aspiration is to make it to the top two, who will make it to the semi-final. Now, if you're at home, don't forget to download the Cabopedia app and make sure you get practicing. And if you're a student, especially, you can start practicing from now against the next season. You never know, you might be here on this stage. And if you do very well and you make it to the top of the scoreboard, we might invite you this season to this stage as well. Lots of prizes up for grabs. We're moving on to round one. We wish you all the best. Pens and paper ready? Let the games begin. Which of the following can make x raised to the power 7 a perfect cube? A, x, b, x raised to the power 3, c, x raised to the power 2, and d, x raised to the power 4. You have five seconds to put in your answer. The correct answer is c, x raised to the power 2. We had four correct and two incorrect answers. Theophilus and Iomide, not to worry, it is just question one. We'll still have 11 more questions to go. Let's move on to question number two. Find the value of the variable for which a simultaneous linear equation is satisfied is called A, inequality, B, linear, C, quotient, and D, solution. Ayomide, what was your answer? B. B. You think you got it right? What do you think the correct answer is? Solution. And you're absolutely right. The correct answer is solution. The rest of you got it right. Well done to each and every one of you. If there's one thing I've learned on this show, it's not how you start, but how you finish. So let's move on to question number three. If one divided by a minus two minus two divided by a minus one is expressed as a single fraction, the numerator is a minus a minus three, b minus a plus five, c a minus three, and d three minus a. Fortune, Theophilus, and Kenneth. Did you guys put in the correct answer in time? Hmm? No. Please make sure you do that. It's very, very important. The correct answer is D, three minus A. Let's encourage them, guys, with a round of applause. Well done to Adegoke and Ayomide for getting that correct. Question number four. Which of the following equations has its roots as X is equal to three and X is equal to two? A, X plus three, X plus two is equal to zero x minus 3, x minus 2 is equal to 0, x plus 3, x minus 2 is equal to 0, and d, 2x is equal to 6. Oh yeah, everybody smile. Redemption, smile now. Well done to each and every one of you. You all got it right. The correct answer is x minus 3, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Moving on to question number 5. Express the sum of P meters and Q centimeters in centimeters. A, 100 PQ centimeters. B, 100 P minus Q centimeters. C, 100 plus Q centimeters. And 100 P plus Q centimeters. You guys are on a roll. All correct answers. The correct answer is D, 100 P plus Q centimeters. Yeah, you guys are getting the hang of this. Let's move on to question number six. What is half of four raised to the power five? A, two raised to the power nine, B, one raised to the power four, C, two raised to the power four, and D, two raised to the power 10. King, see that look on your face. Do you think you got it right? Time. Speed is very, very key, especially in round two. Theophilus, what about you? Time. We had two correct answers. Correct answer is A, two raised to the power nine. Congratulations to Kenneth and Ade Goke. Cowbell, 
One of these six is strongly in the lead, and we have a couple tied down. The next six questions will determine who stays and who goes home. Question number seven. The set notation of A subset of B means set A is equals to B, A is a subset of B, A intersection B, and A is union B. You all got it right. <laughs> Theophilus, what topic do you like most in maths? Sequence. What about you, Ayomide? Trigonometry. Trigonometry. Let's see if question eight is trigonometry. What is the root in the fractional indices 8 raised to the power 2.3? A, 2, B, 5, C, 8, and D, 3. Kenneth was the only correct answer. The answer is D. That's number three. But not to worry, let's move on to question number nine. If nine raised to the power x minus one is 81, find the value of x. A, two, B, two, one over four, C, two, one over two, and D, three. Speed and accuracy is very key. All right, this is a complete 180 on the last question. The correct answer is D, that is three. Theophilus, you need to work very quickly to make sure you get your answers in. A round of applause to them. <laughs> Question number 10. A sequence in which each term is formed by multiplying the preceding term by a constant ratio is called A or an A, geometric progression, arithmetic progression, decreasing series, or algorithm series. Correct answer is A, geometric progression. Everyone got it right, well done. <laughs> Question 11. Which of the following is equivalent to three over five? A, 0 0.06 over 13 minus three over four or D, 60%? Correct answer is D, 60%. Well done to all of you. Without putting too much pressure on you, the next question is very crucial for some of you, okay? Let's move on to question number 12. The probabilities that Adi and Shegun will solve a particular problem are 2 over 5 and 5 over 7 respectively. What is the probability that both of them will solve it? A, 2 over 5, B, 2 over 7, 5 over 7, and D, 1. The correct answer is B, two over seven. We had one incorrect from Theophilus. All others got it right. Round of applause, guys. Well done. <laughs> Let's find out who will be staying and who will be going. Wow. Well, let's start from the top where we have 55 points and 55 points. Those are the two highest scores. Kenneth and Adegoke. Congratulations to both of you. You can clap for them. They've made it to the next round. We have a tie. And the tie seems to be on 45 points between redemption and fortune. Unfortunately, the journey ends for Theophilus and Ayomide. Well done to both of you. You have done exceptionally well and we do believe you have the capacity and the ability to be Nigeria's next inventor. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to Theophilus and Ayomide as they take their exit. Kenneth and Adekoke, congratulations to both of you. We'll see you in round two. Well done. King and Redemption. This is a tie break in round one. And when there's a tie break in round one, we're going to ask a set of three questions to break the tie and find out which one of you will move on to round two. At the end of these set of questions, we're going to look for the most correct answers in the quickest time. Do you both understand this? Yes. yes. Now, whatever you score in the tie break will not be added to your final score, okay? Let's encourage them, guys, a round of applause. I wish you all the best. 
List the possible values of x if the range of values is given as 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 4. A, 2, 3, 4. B, 1, 2, 3, 4. C, 1, 2, 3. And D, 2, 3. The correct answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, which is option B, which you both got correct. Well done. <laughs> Question 2. In the equation y is equal to a x raised to the power 2 plus b x plus c, y will have a maximum value if a, a is negative, a is positive, c is negative, or option d, b is negative. The correct answer is a is negative. Moving on to question number three, which is the final question in the tie break. Which of the following expressions has its factors as x minus 4 and x minus 5? x squared plus 4x minus 20, x squared minus 9x plus 20, x squared plus 9x plus 20, and x squared minus 9x minus 20. The correct answer is B, x squared minus 9x plus 20, which you both got correct. Well done. Redemption and King, you both did exceptionally well. The fact that you've come this far, your school, your parents, we here at Carbopedia are very, very proud of you. Unfortunately, only one of you will progress to round two. Three points, average time of 0 0.119 seconds. That goes to King. And Redemption, you're only able to get two correct answers in the tie break. Your average response time, 0 0.825 seconds, which is very good, very impressive but unfortunately it was not good enough to get you to the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause to Adebayo. So Fortune, Adegoke and Kenneth have made it to round two. It's still Cabopedia 2016, one million naira at stake for the champion. Find out who will be moving to the semi-final after the break. Instantly dissolving cowbell milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. Cowbell milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita Rich. A, C, D, E and K. Plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy new formula that dissolves instantly. Cowbell, now deliciously creamy. Welcome back. Still the 2016 Cowbellpedia Mathematics Quiz Show, where we're on the search to discover the next inventor for 2016. We just witnessed our first tie break and King came out on top. I mean, I, I look at your name and I'm like, only royalty have the name King. I, are you royalty? I'm not from a royal family. Oh, you're not from a royal family. Is anybody, Kenneth, are you from a royal family? No. I did go, okay, what about you? Yes. So you're a prince. Does the prince have what it takes to move to the semi-final? What do you want to do most? What's that one thing you want to do most in your life right now? I would like to get closer to God. Fantastic, that's a good one. Kenneth, how are you? Fine. You seem very confident. No. You are scared? Kind of. Yeah, it's, it's natural to feel scared, but you've got him here this far. Congratulations to three of you. This is round two. Unfortunately, only two of you will be able to make it to the semi-final. You've done so far so good. Speed accuracy is what you need in this round, and this is the Cowboypedia. 60 seconds of fame. I wish you guys all the best. Take a deep breath. You have what it takes to move on. Just be calm, collected. Kenneth, are you ready for your Cowboypedia 60 seconds of fame? Yes, please, master. Your 60 seconds starts now. Expand x minus x squared y. minus x y plus y squared. Correct. Factorize x raised to power 2 x plus e bracket x minus 8. Correct. Find the value of x and y in y is equal to 3x and 4y minus 5x is equal to 14. X is equal to 2y is equal to 6. Correct. Expand x plus 2x minus 7. x squared minus 5x plus minus 14. Correct. Expand m minus 8. x squared 8. minus 64. 
Correct. If 1 over x plus 1 over y is 2 over z, express x in terms of y and z. Skip. If x times 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 8 squares to? Half. Correct. Factorize x squared x minus 5 bracket x plus 5. Correct. Find the value of a, b, c when Zero. a is? Correct. Simplify 6p minus 2q minus 5r minus 2p plus 3q plus 5r. 4p plus q. Correct. Factorize a raised to the power 2 minus 49. A plus 7 bracket A minus 7. Correct. Find the gradient of the line 4x minus 2y is equals to 1. Minus 2. Correct. If x minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1 is 0, find the value of x is? X equals to 0. Sorry, minus 1. Incorrect. Time's up. <laughs> that was quite impressive. I'm interested to find out how fast the others are. Adegoki, are you ready? Yes, please, Master. Your Cowboy PDF 60 Seconds of Fame starts now. Solve for y in the equation 5 minus no, 20. 4. Correct. Factorize u is minus v u plus v. Correct. If d is equal to 5 square root h over 2, find the approximate distance d of the horizon from the top 20. of 20. Correct. What is the value of d in the equation 7. 8? Correct. Simplify mf minus m raised to power 2 divided. Make A the subject of the formula in equation x plus y is equal to root of 3ab. x plus y will scale by 3b. Correct. An exercise book has x pages. Two exercise books have 64 pages. What is the value of x? 32. Correct. What is the value of the expression? Fa Factorize 35 minus Steve. 2b. Solve the equation x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 equals to 0. 1. Correct. If y varies directly as x, write down the equation connecting y and x. Y is equal to kx. Correct. Solve the following simultaneous equations. X plus y is equal to 3. X minus y is equal to 5. X is equal to 4. Y is minus 1. Correct. Solve a to the power m is equal to... Correct. Solve for x in 2 over x minus 1 over four. 2. Correct. <laughs> both of you, Kenneth, I think, okay, you're both on 55 points currently, and I think... You might have answered the same number of correct answers as well. King, are you ready? Yes, sir. I wish you all the best. Your Cowbellpedia 60 Seconds of Fame starts now. Express 7204 in standard form. 7.204 times 10 raised to the power 3. Correct. What is the product of the prime numbers between 1 and Skip. 7? For an inequality for a distance d, which is more than 18 meters, but not more than 23 meters. You can skip. Um, D is less than or equals to 23, but greater than 18. Correct. Express 1 over 4 in percentage. 25%. Correct. Find the value of log 32. Five. Is correct. Find 3 quarters of the sum of 16 and 4. 15. Correct. Simplify skip. 8. Skip. Evaluate root of 64. Skip. Plus. Convert 5 to a binary number. Um, 101. Correct. What is the product of x raised to the power 0, x raised to the power 2, and x, x raised to the power 5? Correct. Round off 143.83 to one significant figure. 100. Correct. Find the value of log... Half. Correct. 2. Divide. Correct. Express the fraction 5, 1 over 11 2. 11 over 2. Correct. <laughs> is anybody feeling hot? That was quite a round. King, Kenneth, I did go okay. A round of applause to all three of them. I can tell you that two contestants are on 110 points. The third contestant is just 10 points away, but they all did very, very well. Kenneth, you're on 110 points. I did go okay. You're on 110 points as well. Fortune Emmanuel King, you fought very well from the tie break to make it to this round. You were just 10 points away. Just 10 points. You were almost there. But it doesn't stop you from being the next inventor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a round of applause. Six started the journey. Two are left standing. I did go okay. And Kenneth, congratulations. You joined Emmanuel and Favor in the semi finals. One prelim down, eight more to go. It's been quite an entertaining journey so far for me, for the viewers at home, but I think more importantly for our 12 contestants who started off this particular prelim. Four have made it to the semi-final, Emmanuel and Favour in the junior category. 
Kenneth and Adekoke in the senior category. Congratulations to all four of them. I part with this quote by a remarkable Indian social worker and mathematician. She goes by the name Shakuntala Devi. Now she entered the Guinness Book of Records for multiplying two randomly picked 13 digit numbers in 28 seconds. And she gave the correct answer without the use of a calculator. Yes, she used her brain. We believe we also have phenomenal mathematicians out there who are ready to be here on this platform and to be celebrated. And she said something. She said, without mathematics, there is nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Join us same time next week, same station right here on Cowboypedia. I am Oscar, your quiz master. Bye for now.